in this video i will solve the code shape status 57 uh, problem the problem name is non-negative product the problem was uh, some tricky and who you are the uh, language bengali i mean actor who python a private batch start code that she i mean it's a negative will be number key shop which description box of the attack be judy q and roll court the job at a private batch and motor core hobby corner pre-recorded video tag banana you think you're interested to go by channel go to the borough class will have a gummy agami massage so first of all we will go to the go to read the problem the problem was Alice has an array of n integers a n a to a n she wants the product of all the elements of the array to be a non-negative integer that means he uh, he, uh, he will multiply the all all the, he will multiply the all element of this array and he wants the non-negative integers that means greater than equal to zero but for this problem that is it can be either zero or positive number but we know the positive number is greater than zero but for this pro for this problem it will be zero but she doesn't want to be negative to do this she is willingly to remove some elements of the array she wi uh, is willingly remove some elements of the array so which elements he wants to remove okay we will know that uh, determine the minimum number of elements that she will have to remove to make the product of the array's element non-negative that means he want to remove some elements from from that uh, from this array uh, by this by the removing uh, those elements it will be uh, the uh, result the multiplication result will be positive okay but the thing is the minimum number of the minimum number of the uh, negative element he wants to remove that uh, that means the th this problems from greedy algorithm so now the first line is test case t second line is n and the third line is we will take the array from the user so my logic is to solve this problem first of all i will at, at the very first to solve this problem i will find the multiplying result okay I will find the multiplying result if the multiplying result is greater than equal to zero is greater than equal to zero that time I will print what I will print zero okay if the multiplying result is not greater than equal to zero then I will check how many negative numbers in that this array if the if if uh, if the total number of uh, if the total number of negative number is odd is even that time i will print what i will print zero because we know that if uh, we uh, if uh, we have two negative number in that array and if we multiply that two negative number let's say our two negative number is minus one and minus one so if i multiply this minus one mi minus one it will be one that means by this concept we can uh, we know that previously that even number of negative number multiplying result will create positive number so if the if we can say uh, if we can see that all uh, negative numbers is even number so that time we will print zero but otherwise if our uh, total number of negative number is odd number that time what we will do we will do a uh, simple tricky things that let's say we have three negative number or five negative number or seven negative number in our array so three five seven is not matter because there uh, there uh, that all number is odd number and if we multiply odd number of negative number we will get negative multiplication so now what we uh, when our result will be one so read the output one for each test case output on a new line the minimum number of element that she has to remove from the array that means how many elements he or she will remove how many elements she will remove let's say we have five numbers of negative number or seven uh, negative numbers or nine negative number so if i remove five minus one that means 
when we have 5 negative number if I remove 1 negative number that means it will be 4 and the multiplication of 4 negative numbers will create a positive number right and when we will have 7 uh, we will have 7 negative numbers and if we subtract but or if we remove one negative number from seven we will we will got uh, we will get six negative number and if we multiply the six if uh, six uh, negative number we will get positive or negative number positive number that means if we have if we can uh, uh, if we can see that our n total negative number is odd simply we will print one that means i will tell you again the first thing is the first algorithm uh, our algorithm is first of all we will create the multiplication and if our multiplication is greater than zero that time we will print zero and if it's it is true then we will check two things one is uh, if our uh, negative total negative number is even number we will print zero if our total negative number is not uh, if our total negative number is odd number we will print one the simply logic here so now let's go to the, our code see the code first of all uh, at the very first i am just uh, calculating the multiplication result by mul function this function give me tr uh, give me true if the multiplying result is greater than zero and if i get true then i will print simply zero but if it give a uh, but if it gives uh, that means mul function if uh, gives me false then i will um, counting how many uh, how many negative numbers i am uh, in uh, in the array if the uh, by our c variable if the c is even number that time we will print zero if our uh, c uh, odd number that time we will print one so this was the logic and jara amar python batch enroll korte chao total uh, total details ta lekha ache ei video description box e dekhe nite paro thank you